Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Happy Mother's Day coming up this next week. And I want to share with you that I know some of you, like me, have got scars attached to your emotions with your mother's name on it. Some of you have scars attached to your emotions with your children's name on it. And I want to share with you some of you who may have never had kids or may have had scars because you either had abortions that you don't feel good about or you had miscarriages. Well, I want to share this with you. God is about divine purpose. And a good thing to do is ask God, Lord, number one, get inside and heal the scars. That's number one. Number two, some of you may have to forgive yourselves for what you've done. And number three, some of you may have to ask God to help you get over being angry with him because of what he allowed in your life. But I ask you to go to God, no matter how you feel, no matter what your attitude is, go to God because he already knows what's in there. And even though he knows that some of you blame him. He still wants you to come to him so he can open your mind up and give you a whole new perspective as to what really happened in your life and help you move on with healing and peace. He wants to restore to you the joy of your salvation. It's hard to be joyful when we are full of regret. It's hard to be joyful bound up with guilt. And it's hard to be joyful when you are it, oh, just inundated with resentment. <laughs> yeah. So I ask you to ask God to heal your heart. Those of you who have scars with your mother's name on it, you have insecurities. You suffer from insecurity. You suffer from rejection. You suffer from abandonment issues. Some of you suffer from never feeling like you'll ever be good enough because no matter what, the mother that you have had to live under always has something critical. No matter how hard you try, there's something that needed help. And it hurts. It hurts feeling like you can never measure up. I watched Touched by an Angel the other night and the woman was sharing about how she always felt like her mother wished she had not been born. That's a horrible feeling. I used to have that feeling, but God healed me of all of it. He healed me because I asked him to. Took time, but he did it completely. So that's no longer an issue with me. I don't feel like a walking apology any longer. So my point to you is, no matter what you're dealing with, I mean, like, for example, the Lord delivered me in my living room from a root of rejection. I didn't even expect it. I was just asking God why something bothered me so much. And sometimes it's good to ask God about yourself. You know, we think we know ourselves, but we don't really. God knows us better than we do. So ask God sometimes when you realize you've had a sore spot way too long and you're kind of tired of it, ask God why. Where did that come from? Why do you have it? Watch him show you through memory lane the very point of that pain. He'll take you to it if you let him. And if you ask him, he'll heal you of it completely. Be encouraged. There is nothing your mother did or did not do to you that God cannot heal you of. God bless you as you approach this sensitive time of the year. Some of you can celebrate. That's a blessing. And some of you, yeah, it's hard. Anyway, let God comfort you here. 